Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 20, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. That will help a lot. And we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And yes, as you can see, we're down 1.74%. So this ETF is just falling like a rock. But still, we're finding support down here at the 300 moving average. We haven't really tested it yet. And we'll probably probably not test it. And the reason why I would say that is because we are getting fairly oversold in the CDF. It is only a matter of time before we see a fairly big rally up towards the 20 exponential or the 200 moving average. And at this point, that's a rally of roughly 10% or even 13% towards those uh, moving averages. I'm not saying that we are going to break um, this downtrend and continue with the uptrend, but um, when you stay in a certain area for this long and you're not breaking down, usually the only other way you go is either sideways or up. And at this current stage, indicators are getting really oversold, overstretched, and it is kind of a matter of time before this basically turns around. So it has been selling off and also these stocks that are in here have also been selling off for quite a long time now. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still in negative territory about to cross the signal line. And we have the MACD, no, the RSI, sorry, which is flat. The CCI is also bearish and the stochastic is turning around becoming bearish yet again. Um, Bullinger band here, we are technically just trending sideways, but we are fairly close to the bottom of the Bullinger band. If we were to break down, then we have the 300 moving average down here at the uh, um, 96.26. And then we have the 20 exponential moving average at the top at the 110. So let's look at DVI. So DVDI did fall towards the 20, uh, 40 exponential and then rallied. So there was a fairly big sell-off due to news of Fed probably increasing interest rates earlier. And then we had a rally at the end of the session. And that is a fairly um, encouraging uh, move that we have a rally at the end because we have buyers that basically are coming in here and pressuring these buyers back up. And at this point, it looks like we are going to target the highs of the bullish advance again, that's 122. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, we are fairly bearish, so it probably won't happen straight away. We'll probably have a few days where we stabilize and then rally. MACD is bearish at this point, RSI is bearish, and the CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. So they do favor the downside, but probably the reason for that is because we have been selling off the last two days quite aggressively. We are finding support down here at 119. So let's look at VTI. So VTI fell quite significantly. We're down 0.29% uh, at this current stage. We're trading at roughly, uh, sorry, we're trading at 100, 212 at this current stage. Technical indicators are fairly bearish, MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is also bearish, and so can see as well. We're getting really overstretched here, so um, a rally at this point could be expected uh, up towards the middle of the bullish band, which is around uh, 216. Break the door downside, then we have the 100 moving average down here at 206. So let's look at, uh, at MCHI. So this has really taken off the last uh, uh, few trading days and we are approaching the 20 exponential moving average which is offering quite a lot of resistance. If we manage to break about there, basically about the middle of the bullish band, then we could go towards the top of the bullish band that's up towards that 100 moving average. But it looks like we are running into major resistance here. So we could roll over and head back towards the 300 moving average. If you look at technical indicators, they are do and they do favor the upside. MACD is across the signal line, indicating bullish momentum. RSI is on the edge of being oversold, but it's bullish at this point. CCI is flat, stochastic is bullish, and we are approaching the middle of the bullish band. But we are having problems getting through the middle of the bullish band. If we break down from here, then we'll probably find major support down at seventy six. So let's look at IVB. So IVB as well has been falling the last three trading days. Technical indicators are looking terrible for this ETF. If the 50 breaks, which it 
actually has. We're trading right at the 50. Then we could drop towards the 100 moving average down here at the 396. But we are very overstretched in a bullish band. So a rally up towards the middle of the bullish band could be expected at 417. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.